Alrighty, welcome back everybody. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. It has been a while since I've been out with the no-toes. Uh, temperatures have been entirely too warm. And even tonight they're a little bit too warm. I'm sure we're gonna get some skeeter bites, but it's the coolest night we've had in a while. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. See if we can't get us a mouse again. Get the Umrex Notos, ATN X Site 4K Pro 5 to 20, Wicked Lights IR. Tonight, <clears throat> again, we're shooting the JSB 1813s. I did some 50 yard shooting with this thing uh, last last week, and man, I had 14 shots that were, well, I took 14 shots, and 12 of those 14 were under my thumb at 50. So very very impressed with it it was shooting them really well pretty calm tonight i did get a few notifications that there was some uh some action over the 20 yard pile i don't know if it's a mouse or a shrew but we're gonna keep our eyes peeled and see what happens i haven't baited in two weeks probably since before i went on vacation and uh i'm hoping that they're hungry tonight so let's, let's take a quick a peek out there and see what it looks like Kill that fan behind me here shortly. Wasn't quick enough. Twenty yard light just kicked on. Uh, it was a shrew that time. I'll keep my eyes peeled on it. We'll see if uh, anything comes in. That was most definitely the shrew there. Oh, a shrew out at uh, 94. Nothing else. All right, I'm just going to sit for a while. If I see something, I'll bring you back. Actually, let's check the zero real quick. <laughs> Just that. Uh, did I just lose where I shot? I did. Well, I hit a little high. So, bring it up. There. Let's try this again. Okay, good enough. All right, I'll bring you back if we see something. eyeball back there. There he is. Well, I haven't done any practice shots. Not 100% sure what the hold is. So we're going to try six and a half. These are a little bit heavier pellets than uh, the 15-8-9s. bugger he only grabbed one seed though so he's coming back we'll wait for him Hi, 
Hey, Bell, is that you? Never mind. I'm gonna have her kill that fan in the background, but let's wait it out. over there I hope you all had a chance to watch the uh, veterans fishing trip video oh that was a clean miss he came back yeah that veterans fishing trip video I had so much fun I assume my sister and brother did too they seemed to enjoy it just as much as me it was a crap ton of fun and good eating too after the uh, captain dropped off some fish for us I thawed mine out and that night <clears throat> I took three of the fillets and fried them up on the grill god Damn, they were good. I got one fillet left. I, I ate like a, one and a half by myself. It was totally worth it. All right, I'll bring him back if he comes back. He's a little scared. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. <clears throat> Yeah, it turns out the new IR battery really makes a difference. Sadly, the one thing it doesn't do is bring more mice in. I mean, that shrew film I'm here for you. That shrew out there at 94 is very happy to have some seed. <laughs> You can see him pretty good. But as you can see, there's no eye shine on him because his eyeballs are tiny. He gets a free pass. We're after the mice. A few moments later. Alrighty, a few seconds ago, a mouse just came in at the 20 yard pile. So I've switched the setup here. Let's see if we can get him. Ooh, I still gotta move that. We're gonna wait for a while. Bring it back. He comes in. Can't say I'm surprised. It's not my main goal tonight though, so. I'm gonna leave him be unless he gets close enough. If he uh, gets inside 50 yards, I'm taking the shot. Sorry. He's a little, a little skeptical. It's almost like he knows I'm here. He's a real dick.
bring it back if I see anything. I wasn't gonna do it. He's in my fucking yard. That is 30 yards from my house right now. 30 fucking yards from my house. Pardon my French, but I am not big on killing critters like this. Okay. But what do you think he was sniffing for? I got six cats. They're in the catio beneath me, but they are absolutely outside not in any immediate danger to him but my neighbors got cats they've got a small dog they've got three small dogs across the street i've got two small dogs under no circumstances am i gonna allow a yote to come into my fucking yard i said i was gonna shoot the raccoon if he got within 50 yards that fucker is in my yard Freshly mowed grass. He is in my yard. He dropped like a ton of bricks. Umarex Notos. Man, I can't even say enough about this gun. The accuracy is there. The power is there. This is a pistol carbine. And I just dropped a coyote in my backyard. 30 yards out. We're going to go take a look at him. It's absolutely a yote. There's no collar on it. It doesn't have a big tail like a fox. I'm guessing 100% that's a yote. He went right to sleep. I mean fucking right to sleep. I don't, I'm, I don't know if you can tell, but I am, I'm amped up right now. That is unacceptable. I was not going to take that shot, but he's down. Let's go take a look. All right. As you can see, he is absolutely still in the yard. I mean, there's my 30 yard or 37 yard target for, you know, sighting in. So. Wow. The fine specimen. Okay, this was the second shot. I wanted to make sure that he wasn't suffering. So when he was there, I stuck that second one in him. Was hit him there, but that first one, uh, without touching him too much. You hit him right there, top of the head, in between the eyes. He dropped like a ton of bricks. Uh, male, looks like. I see a big wiener. All right. Well, this is the first coyote that I've ever shot. So, uh, I have.
happen to get it with the fucking notos of all things. 35 yards maybe, 34 yards, right around there. And he went right to sleep. So I think I'm going to end the video here. I don't really know. I mean, I could shoot at a mouse and it would not be nowhere near as impressive as the notos dropping a yote. So. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, I mean, yeah, focus, it ain't gonna focus, it's okay, he's definitely bigger than all of my dogs and cats, big old fucking sharp teeth on him, all right, well, I'm gonna bag him up. Uh, and then I'm going to have to dig a hole tomorrow and bury him. Alrighty, guys. Went and got myself a cold snack for that. This is going to be the end of the video. Uh, I'm not going to lie. As much as I don't want coyotes in my backyard, and I will shoot every single one of them that I can, it still doesn't make me feel good, hey? I don't mind blasting mice because they're small and they are absolute fucking cost me money. But a few years ago, I saw a coyote run through my backyard with what I thought was my neighbor's cat in its jaws. And there was about a foot and a half, two feet of snow on the ground. And I was able to get a gun quick and pop a few shots off at him enough that he dropped what was in his mouth and I ran through the fucking woods to see if I could help the critter and it was a rabbit thank god thank god it was not my neighbor's cat but they have cats that they let free roam they had a cat get hit by a car two years ago we can't allow they're not even pests at that stage they are full on predators we cannot allow predators to just run free in our area we have to keep them in check and prevention is better than the cure umarex no toast man i cannot say enough about this gun it shoots mice at 94 yards it fucking drops coyotes at 35 i'll range it tomorrow man i just don't even know what to say i'm gonna have a cold snack to uh celebrate i want to thank everybody for watching Stay in tuned. We got one, man. We're saving the community critters. On to the next adventure. Camera's on fire. <laughs>